Hey everyone, my name is Alsh94, welcome back to some more SVR 2006 GM mode. Now, we had an okay day at the office yes, uh, well, in the last episode, mainly because our Smackdown results were two and a half stars, as opposed to Raw's two stars. But they do have a much better built um, card here. And I actually just want to check how big... Is our rock? Can I say that? I think that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 17. Okay, and unfortunately, in our in our news, Kurt Angle got a bit of an injury, but had the best match there. In terms of our emails, holy moly! Take us now. Oh dear. His contract expires in a week, in a week, in a week, in a week. Good lord, they're all expiring in a week. Half the freaking roster expires in a week. Holy moly. Okay, uh, I need to sort this. Ah, oh, they're all the big boys as well. Okay, Booker T, current champion. Let's go for another three months. Okay, so he's secure now. Christian, I'm going to keep Christian. Six months, yeah, that's fine. Kurt Angle, one of the big players now. He's got to stay, but he might only stay for three months. Ric Flair, again, one of the big players. Going to have to do something to retain our talent better than this. And Undertaker, again, massively popular. So I'm going to do him for three months as well. Davari, six. They're all for 14 now. Some of them are 12 for 27 weeks. That's fine. Right. Propose a trade. I am willing to trade. It, it, it was. Oh, it was, it was Charlie Haas, wasn't it? Charlie Haas. Who I don't think is even a champion. Oh, he is a champion. He's the US champion. Ah, okay. Okay, so that's all fine. Randy Orton hasn't got into the free agency pool yet, has he? Where is... Oh, he's been renewed for six weeks. It's been renewed for six weeks. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. So I can't just buy outright for whatever reason. I can't buy superstars. That's cool. Let's get into this schedule. This needs to be a matchup for the ages. Uh, so let's look at our champions first because th this is really going to be a complete, uh, just a domination in terms of uh, pay per views and things. So Booker T is going to be going as the main event. He's basically the poster boy for us, and we need to make all of these matches hard hitting, I'm afraid. Uh, so we're going to go for a last man standing match, single. We're going to go Booker, and he's in a rivalry at the moment, isn't he? He is in a rivalry with the Hurricane. Uh, so do you know what? Let's make this with the Hur Hurricane. We'll be doing double duty tonight. Um, and it will be for the world title. We're going to go for match five. And I'm afraid we're going to have to go for first blood. Kurt Angle, Ric Flair. Because I think that's a rivalry as well. Uh, Angle, Flair, yes. That's a rivalry. First match is going to be for the Cruiserweight Championship, and that is going to be a... Let's do a submission. Let's make this a sub single submission. We're going to have Tajiri, who is going to be going up against... He's not, he's not in any rivalries, is he? No, so it doesn't really matter who we put up. Maybe we do Christian. Uh... 
Oh, Scotty too hotty, but Scotty's... Oh, you know what? Let's do Christian. I'm going to give it to Christian. Yep, that's all good. Uh, match two. They weren't really a fan of Christy Hemi. Uh, can I do him in the backstage? Can I be in a backstage brawl or bar brawl? Is that a thing that we can have them do? No, just for male superstars that one. So we're going to change it up a bit. Uh, we're going to have this as a main event, special ref, single, and chain superstar. So we're going to have Christy Hemi. There she is. Michelle McCall. And the special referee will be, uh, let's do Lita. Yeah. Uh, then, so that's good. Promo, we're going to have to start earning some money somewhere. So... Merchandise sponsorship and let's do advertising promo as well. Hopefully they give us some big earnings there. We do not want a tag team. A tag team matchup for the titles. And this is where we start seeing double duty being had because I think it's Devarian and Hurricane which are the tag champions. And they're going to go up against Edge and... Do we have Edge and Christian? Yeah, let's do that. For the tag titles. For the Cruiserweight Championship as well. So that's good. And the last vacant matchup. I think we are going to be losing some, pro, some um, rivalries, unfortunately. But Taker and Regal. Now that Taker is 100%. This is going to be a really costly show. Uh, but... Uh, what should we have them do? Hell in a Cell. Why not? Let's do Hell in a Cell. And let's do a single Hell in a Cell. And this is Undertaker versus William Regal. Okay. So do we have... Oh wait, we don't have every championship on the line, do we? We have Cruiserweight, Tag... Heavyweight, we've got another champion, don't we? The United States Championship with Charlie Haas. Whoa. Do we want to fit that in anywhere? I don't think we want to. We should really try and fit it in. If they weren't a fan of that matchup, let's just change this up then. Uh, let's make this a main event. Let's do this as a table match. Single, Charlie Haas, and Scotty Zuhati. Every title is on the line to basically try and combat the pay-per-view that we're going to basically get absolutely destroyed with. But it's an okay card, I think. Let's lock it in. So, we have Tajiri against Christian. Charlie Hart versus Scott Too Hotty for the US Championship. Davari and Hurricane versus Edge and Christian. ENC go for the tag titles. Undertaker uh, against William Regal in the Hell in a Cell match. First blood match between Kurt Angle and Ric Flair. And the last man standing match between Booker T and the Hurricane. Okay! Yo! Hurricane! Is your world heavyweight champion having beaten Booker T? Kurt Angle beats Ric Flair, but at what cost has that done to Kurt Angle's injury? Taker beats Regal in his own map. We're basically having a cell. Edge and Christian are your new tag team champions. So clearly, Davari and the Hurricane there. Don't know what happened to them, but it shows that Davari might have been the weak link there in that uh, tag team there. Charlie Haas retaining the US Championship and Christian going out there and beating Tajiri for the Cruiserweight Championship. So that means that Christian is not only the Cruiserweight Champion, he is also the Tag Team Champion and picked up the win in both of those matches. That's incredible. That is unbelievable and that just shows how good Christian can be when you make him a main event star. So here are the results, and Charlie Haas picks up the win against Scotty Too Hotty, retaining 
that United States Championship. Tajiri, Christian beat Tajiri and is your new Cruiserweight Champion. That's pretty cool there. Adrian Christian, Christian picked up the win again against Hurricane and Davari. So maybe Davari and Hurricane there, the, the tag team, they're not that strong. But Christian is not only now your Cruiserweight Champion, but also the tag team champions as well. Take a big regal in the Hell in a Cell match. Angle beats Flair, but what has that done to Angle's already minor injury? And the Hurricane beating Booker T in that last man standing match. Hurricane there showing that Davari could have been the weak link there. Let's continue. Okay, where are we? Fan change. It's still rock. Oh wait, but that the they had the pay-per-view though. Who had the better rating? Two and a half for Raw. Only I put everything I had on the line. Everything. Serious injury. Ric Flair's been sidelined for 12 weeks. Broken leg. Angle literally destroyed him. Orton as well. Oh boy. Let's see what went wrong. What went wrong? Okay, so match four was good. Taken was as regal, but then these two were a bit lackluster, apparently. Uh, okay. Well, it is what it is. Fan support, and look at that absolute abomination. The only thing going for us, I think, at the moment is that I think we are due a pay per view. Great American Bash might be ours. Yeah, it is ours. So. Okay, but our, in terms of our current champions, look at that. Cruiserweight and tag titles being held by Christian. The Hurricane is the standout star there as your heavyweight champion. And Charlie Haas is still hanging in there as a United States champion. I think we need to now start thinking about um, buying some more stars. So why don't we take Chavo Guerrero. Light heavyweight. He he probably I think he'd be a good addition. And we're gonna sign him on for a nine month contract. And do I want Heidenreich? Maybe not Heidenreich at the moment. He's cheap as chips. Mark Jindrak, who is he cruiserweight? He's heavyweight, so okay. Snitsky would be a good shout as well. Super heavyweight. Good lord that face. Holy moly! Uh, the Bashams would be great for tag titles as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe we should get five weeks worth of the Bashams. Because I want to start putting in those tag titles. We're going to do one more builder and then we're going to end the episode here. So what we're going to do, promo, we're going to need to build up uh, more money. So let's build up that. Uh, angle, so let's re-invoke the claws there with Hurricane and Booker T. We're going to re-invoke, he's going to re-invoke his, or say re-invoke, he's going to invoke his Rematch clause for the World Heavyweight Championship. Let's see if the Hurricane can retain this. Uh, match one, we're actually going to open up with a tag team matchup. Tornado tag, and it's going to be uh, Edge and Christian. And, uh, no, not the Bashams. But we are going to put the Bashams in there. This is just going to be a way for them to be introduced into the SmackDown world. So, Danny, Doug, welcome. It's not going to be for the tag titles, but it's important that we have that in there. Uh, we're not going to have Christian actually go for another matchup. He's going to have one in that one match because we do want to make sure that he's all right. Uh, we're then going to have... Let's try and get the women a bit more of a spotlight now. So, Joy and Lita. 
and I actually want them to be in match five. Go for match five, or maybe, maybe we can like sandwich them in a bit into here. Michelle will call is really down on popularity, so we need to try and find a way of building her up. Uh, match four, we kind of want to keep going with that taker. Let's do a hardcore matchup now between Taker, not Booker T. There's Regal. There's Taker. Match five. Let's have another main event. Let's have a table match. Kurt Angle just wants to fight someone. Oh, we could have Chuck. We could have Chavo Guerrero in here. Chavo Guerrero. Do we? No. Let's put Charlie Haas in there. Let's see what happens with this. Yeah. Let's just go for it. Okay. Proceed with that. I've probably thrown away a hell of a lot of the rivalries that we had. Christian there picking up the win with Edge against the Bashams. Lita beating Joy Giovanni. Michelle McCall beats Christy Hemi. Taker beats William Regal. Charlie Haas beats Chavo. And Booker T getting back that heavyweight championship. That's not bad either. Fan change. It's back to Raw. 110,000. Holy moly. Two stars from Raw. And a one star from Good Lord. We are not cut out for this general manager stuff, are we? Oh dear, what a lackluster card that is. Okay. Uh, what's this? Minor injury. Taker's got back injury. That's flair. Okay, we could interfere. No deadline. I'm not happy with your locker room. Okay. Maybe next episode then we're going to have to start thinking about um, going for a trade or two to try and boost up our ratings. But for now, I'm going to end this episode right about here. So thanks to those who have watched this. If you like what you saw, then hit that like button down below. Don't forget that you can subscribe. We'll come up like this, and I'll see you next time.